Okay, so uh, my lightning talk is mildly suicidal in that I'm doing it live out of a pi uh, LaTeX editor. Um, but I wanted to talk about something that is not mine, um, but I have found phenomenally useful over the last few years, uh, and that is Python tech. And what this does is allow you to embed Python code inside your LaTeX source. And can I make this font bigger? No, not easily. Sorry about that. Um, so, go away. What it allows you to do is write standard LaTeX code, and then there is begin Python tech custom code here, and I've set up some imports packages and set matplotlib up to use the PDF backend to make things pretty. Uh, when you get down into, so this, this is run at the beginning of all the sessions, so this is like your import block. Um, but when you get down into the actual document, you can do things like, ah, I knew this was a bad idea. Um, you can do things like type backslash pi and um, things to embed the result of Python code in your document. So here I import astropy units, create a quantity, um, and then this pi code it gets embedded. And then down here I do backslash pi my quantity dot reaper latex, and inside the latex source I get the number and the unit embedded in nice LaTeX formatting. So this is really powerful for that in and of itself. Um, it allows me to, I've been doing parameter studies, so I have, I set a parameter and I can actually, it writes all my, like it fills the parameter in everywhere in my LaTeX code like source as I'm going along and this section works on this parameter and if I change the parameter and rerun my pipeline, my LaTeX document updates itself. Shit like that. Um, the other bit that, is more powerful, I think, with this, is the ability to do plots. So here I have a SumPy plotting example that I save out a PDF file that uses matplotlib's PGF backend, so it's doing proper tech commands underneath. And then here in the document, you get a nice, so I just include this normally, and you get like your fonts come out LaTeX wise, and it looks pretty. And this means that if my supervisor goes, oh, I really don't like the color map on that plot. I just go straight back into the document where it was and change a matplotlib k to a blue and recompile it and it, it, it goes. So uh, the other thing that I thought may be of interest to other people, though I've never used it in anger, is AstroPy table supports the export to LaTeX format. So by the way, I've, the PDF code that's coming up over here you don't have to have that in the document. I've just turned it on to show it, but you can have the code hidden and the results in the document, I should probably point out. So I build a table from the web. I think I just nick this example out of the documentation. And then I do here, I do my table dot get value because I had to do a string IO hack to make it work. But there might be an AstroPy pull request in this. And the table comes out in the document, LaTeX formatted and pretty. That's a minute, right? Um, so. The last thing I've written, I pulled this out into a separately distributed package this morning. I wrote this for my thesis because, you know, I've done more work on developing Python code to make writing my thesis easier than I have to actually <laughs> writing my thesis. Um, but are you cr I create a chapter class here, build a figure, do chapter dot save figure, give it a string identifier and the figure object. And then down here, I do chapter two dot build figure, give it back the string identifier, tell it the width, give it a caption and it puts the figure in the text with the caption and later on I can do ref the, that thing in LaTeX and it figured that and it keeps tabs on all my files. It puts them into directories for me, named nicely, everything. It's beautiful. So that's it. Thank <laughs> you.